fine. Welcome to math is fine. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving basic operations of integers using appropriate strategies and tools. Here is the first problem. John gets on the elevator on the 10th floor. The elevator goes up three floors and stops. It then continues to go up five more floors where Jan got off. In what floor did he get off the elevator? To answer our problem, we're going to use the four-step line. First is we're going to understand the problem. What is asked? In this problem, it is asking for the number of floor he got off the elevator. Next, what are the given facts? The given facts in this problem are 10th floor, 3 floors up, and 5 more floors. Next is we're going to make a plan. What strategy can you use to solve the problem? In this problem, we're going to use addition of integers. What is the number sentence? Looking back to our problem, John gets on the elevator on the 10th floor. The elevator goes up three floors and stop. It then continues to go up five more floors. So we can make a number sentence. This is 10 plus positive 3. Why is it positive 3? Because it goes up. Then, plus positive 5 because it continues to go up 5 more floors. Then, is equal to N. This is our number sentence. 10 plus positive 3 plus positive 5 is equal to N. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. This is our number sentence. Look at the addends. Are the addends all positive? Yes. How to add integers having the same sign? Okay, in adding integers having the same sign, add only the numbers, then copy the common sign. So 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 plus 5 is equal to 18. And the sign is positive. Or we can write 18. Therefore, Jan got off the elevator on 18th floor. The last step in solving word problem is we're going to check. So, we're going to use the number line. Jan gets on the elevator on the 10th floor. The elevator goes up three more floors, then stop. It then continues to go up five more floors. So, three, four, five. It means that Jan got off on the 18th floor. Therefore, our answer is correct. Next problem. The temperature at noon was 35 degrees Celsius. At 10 p.m., it was 27 degrees Celsius. How many degrees did the temperature fall? To answer our problem, first is we're going to understand what is asked. In our problem, it is asking for the number of degrees did the temperature fall? What are the given facts? The given facts are 35 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. The next step is we're going to make a plan. What strategy can you use to solve the problem? Since at noon the temperature was 35 degrees Celsius, 
and at 10 p.m. it was 27 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use subtraction of integers. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is positive 35 degrees Celsius minus positive 27 degrees Celsius is equal to N. The third step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. Positive 35 minus positive 27. In subtracting integers, first is we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, our numbers now are positive 35 and negative 27. Since we have different signs, we're going to subtract the numbers. 35 minus 27 is equal to 8 and the sign of the bigger number is positive so our answer is positive 8. Therefore, the temperature fell to 8 degrees. The last step is we're going to check. We're going to use the number line. We start from 35 degrees Celsius, the temperature at noon. And at 10 p.m., it was 27 degrees Celsius. We're going to count how many degrees did the temperature fall. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Therefore, the temperature was falling to 8 degrees. Next problem. There were 20 rows of 50 chairs arranged in an auditorium. Each chair was rented for 5 pesos. How much was paid for the rental? First is we're going to understand the problem. What is asked in this problem? It is asking for the amount was paid for the rental. What are the given facts? The given facts are 20 rows of 50 chairs and 5 pesos. The next step is we're going to make a plan. What strategy can you use to solve the problem? So in this problem, we're going to use multiplication. What is the number sentence? The number sentence is 20 times 50, open and close parentheses, times 5 pesos is equal to N. Now let's carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. So the number sentence is 20 times 50. We're going to multiply first. The answer is equal to 1,000 times 5 pesos. So 1,000 times 5 pesos is equal to 5,000 pesos. Therefore, the rental was 5,000 pesos. The last step is we're going to check. We can check if our answer is correct by division. So 5,000 divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And we're going to bring up three zeros to our quotient. Next is we're going to divide 1,000 by 50. So 1 divided by 50 cannot be. We take two digits. 10 divided by 50 still cannot be. We take three digits. 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2. 2 times 50 is equal to 100. 100 minus 100 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 50 is equal to 0. 0 times 50 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Since we got 20, therefore our answer is correct. 
I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.